Jay Z was he's well on his way. He's he's not quite there yet, but he's well on his fucking way. <sighs> can you can we even put Dr. Dre in that category? Hell yeah. You know what? I put Dr. Dre over Kanye. Mm. No, I, I don't know if I can go with that one. Yeah. He's he's in he's in he's in the room. He's in the room definitely. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's that far in, in the line though, but he's in he's definitely in the room. Well, I just looked at the the richest rappers list for 2022. All right. You got Diddy, Dre, Jay-Z, Kanye, Eminem. Those are the top 5. Hmm. They must be talking about their earning for the year. Is that what it is? Uh, I, I suppose. Mm. I, I suppose. Yeah. That, that's, that's about it. That's all I can name. But still. Yeah, that's it. As far as the entertainment world, that that's pretty much it. Well, I don't know. I I found another list, and it and it's and it's it's a different order. So I I I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. So is Kanye above being held accountable for his actions? Hell no. And he should not be. He should be held accountable for all of his actions. But again, we are at a point to where he can buy himself out of his own bullshit, (laughs) which is sad. We'll get into some of his antics later, but you know, when you harass your ex-wife, when you threaten you know, make verbal threats to D.L. Hughley. When you do all of these things, you should be held accountable for them. We know how, 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 we know how disturbed people are today. And some of the things that he is doing is going to get someone hurt because we know how fans are. We know how Eminem fans are. We know how passionate Eminem fans are. So if you have a Kanye fan that is as passionate as an Eminem fan and, and, and Kanye is making threats to people, you never know which one of these loose cannons is going to go do something because in their head, that's what Kanye wanted them to do. He needs to be held accountable. I agree. I, I do think that he needs to be held accountable for his actions. Now, who the hell going to hold him accountable? That's the question. Exactly. That is the question. Who's going to hold him accountable? Um, I think that if it gets to a point where he keeps acting up and somebody haul off and bust his ass. Then everybody going to be like, Oh, why they do that? Oh, well, maybe he should have sat his ass down and left people alone. <laughs> I mean, that's usually what happens with bullies. A bully keep poking, poking, poking until the right one get fed up and knock their ass out. Then it's like, Oh shit. <laughs> I bet you'll sit your ass down now. Won't you? That would be interesting. It would be. I don't think anybody would get close enough to to him to do something like that. I would love to see him in a celebrity boxing match. But it would be interesting. 
<laughs> it would be because somebody had knocked his ass out. <laughs> so mentioning mentioning of his antics, crashing Taylor Swift VMA uh, speech. You remember when that happened? Yes, I did. To me, that I was, was horrified, immature, out of line, rude, and just ignorant. Like, what? Beyonce is an artist in her own lane, zone, whatever the case may be. Whether we like, care, dislike, or whatever, how the VMAs choose, whatever the case may be, it was not his place to do that. Period. Uh, I mean, he. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't even come up with an excuse for that. I, I can't. Um, I was cringing though. I was cringing when he went up and did that. I was like, "What in the fuck are you doing, son?" Um, and then to watch Taylor, the look on her face, like. She, it was just, it was crazy. Like, she was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and at the same time, embarrassed like hell. So, that was definitely not his his, his best moment. <laughs> he was not shining like a star right then. And I remember the backlash she got from that, though. It was like the whole mm-hmm. country was mad at goddamn Kanye. How yeah, dare you, know you go Taylor up there Swift and, is America's sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, how do you dare you go up there and interrupt this little white girl? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Not only that, how dare you go up there and interrupt anybody? You know? Yeah. Like, come on, man. But, and, and then he stood by his actions after he apologized. But it's like, did you apologize to Beyonce? Did you apologize to Jay-Z? Because him going up there to do that is like he's being a spokesperson for her. And it's like, she, she didn't, don't need it, it. She didn't feel that way. So why do you feel like it was, why'd you take it upon yourself to go do that? Like, let it go. Whether it was true or not, that's in the, the the eyes of, you know, the general public and each individual. But at the same time, him doing that, it wasn't necessary. At all. So, and I love the way um, Beyonce handled it, though. Because afterwards, she let Taylor Swift come up when she won her award mm-hmm. and speak, you know, she basically got her award. I said, please, you know, give your uh, acceptance speech. So she did a great thing just then. But the initial act of what Kanye did, it was kind of like, I get you have a different an opinion. I get you feel that Beyonce, whatever. Maybe she would should have won the award, maybe not. But she didn't. So let it go. Right. But that whole antic right there was totally unnecessary. Beyonce don't need nobody speaking up for her. Not only Beyonce that. Beyonce know how to speak up for herself. Then she has her husband. Not and only that, it's a time and a place for everything. And that was not the time nor the place. No. Like, he could have, you know, after the award, you know, if I'm sure he was going to be asked a question about something, and he could have gave us a little spill then. Right. But that whole thing that transpired after that, I mean, them going back and forth, um, Taylor and... Kanye's camp going back and forth. 
even after he apologized and so on and so forth, I, I just thought that was a like a circus. Yeah, it was a circus because he apologized to her after they go back and forth. He apologized to her. Everything's supposed to be cool. And then he goes at her again. So it's like, dude, you weren't even genuine in your apology. Like, <sighs> but anyway, yeah. him claiming, huh? No, go ahead. Him claiming George Bush doesn't care about black people. What are your thoughts on that? I thought he told the absolute truth. I thought that he held no punches and he told the fucking truth. Really? Hell fucking yeah. I don't agree with it. Bush don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't agree with about it. About people that look like us. He don't. I don't agree with it. He didn't give a fuck back then. He damn sure as hell don't give a fuck now. I don't get I, I don't I don't agree with it. Um Yeah, I just don't agree with it. Like me personally, I'll put it like this. I have not invested time in my life to research George Bush's life history to see if he did, does, or did not, or does not care about black people. I have not seen or heard of any evidence that would lean me to agree with Kanye on that. I'll just put it that way. So for me, I, I kind of don't agree with him on that. So the way that he handled that whole Katrina thing, right? Wasn't it Katrina? Or Katrina? Yeah. Did you not see how he handled that? Well, you got to look at it like this. Um, there are, there are, there are policies and all this, that, and the other to handle that. So for him to feel the way he felt about that, um, kind of did not vibe right with me because Anytime there's a state of emergency, no matter where it is, no matter where it is, what state it's in, the president can't just be like, oh, this place is full of black people, so I got to operate like this. Or this place is full of white people, so I'm going to operate like this. It starts with the state when it comes to state of emergencies, flat out. Now, the way the overall response was handled, I don't think anyone was prepared for it. But I don't think anyone can say because of the way it was handled that George Bush doesn't care about black people. I just don't agree with that at all. Mm. I will say... Again, I don't think he gave a fuck. Honestly. What did you expect he him to do? He didn't give a fuck about none of the people. Not only not black people, he didn't give a fuck about none of the people. Well, then if you if you black put it that you? way, then what Kanye West said was irrelevant. It was not even applicable. Because, again, you have to look at the, the, the way that that state is set up when it comes to er it, um, emergencies like that. If if the state is not, if the state does not have things in place to where they can operate effectively, when the federal government and the president and Congress and all of them say, all right, we're going to send this, that, and the other down there to help you. If the state is not operating effectively, it doesn't matter what George Bush did. It doesn't matter what Congress did. Because if the if as a state of emergency happens in Maryland and our governor 
gets to the point where he needs to request federal aid, if the state ain't operating right, all of it is going to be messed up. And that's just the way it is. You are the president of these United States. Whether that was Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, California, New York, whatever. Your ass should have been on time. See, that's where people Not get Not saying that you up, were though. supposed to be right there. That's where people get But your get response up. time or the response time that came out of his office was slow as fuck. That's Let's where be people real get about it. It was up. slow as fuck. That's where people get it mixed up. But what I'm saying here is, again, no matter where the incident took place. So you mean to tell me weeks have passed and then your ass show up? I mean, some weeks. That's where people get it. So let me ask you this, then. When that whole 9-11 thing happened, how many weeks did it take for him to show up to the scene? That's different. How long did it take for him to show up to the scene? totally different. Totally different. It's still a state of emergency, no matter how you look at it. Whether we were attacked or whether it was a natural natural occurrence, how long did it take him to show up to the scene? The same length of time it takes every president to show up to a scene. (laughs) <laughs> you 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 can't you can't put you can't put a a a, a a a a a national security incident in the same category as a weather incident. You just can't do that. You can't. That's just like saying that's just like saying if there if if something at your job blows up and something at your house blows up. Where are you going first? Of course, I'm going to my house first. So, if you look at 9-11, that's the president's house that's got tore up. But if you look at Louisiana, that's his job. Like, you, 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 have, to, you have to look at the differences in that. National security trumps everything. Everything. But again... When you have a, a, an emergency like Katrina, the state is in charge first. It doesn't matter when the president shows up on scene. It doesn't. So to say George Bush doesn't care about black people, that was just bonkers to me. That was that was ridiculous. Totally ridiculous to me. Okay. <laughs> totally ridiculous. <laughs> but again, that goes back to... My- if if uh, Kanye West and, and and I'm just gonna say it because this is how I feel about it. I don't think Kanye West understands policy when it comes to stuff like that. He just does not comprehend it. He does not understand the flow of of resources when it comes to that. And no fault to him. But a lot of people don't understand that until they're in that situation or they work in in that field. The president showing up is, 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 so what if he shows up? So what if he doesn't? As long as when the state requests what they need, they get it. But again, the state is in charge of all of that. So if the president says, hey, you let us know what you need and we'll send it to you, it's still a process. It is a whole the, process. The whole United States is governed by the president, right? He, he's nah, supposed to you got to back up off that one. Hold on now. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Is he not the one that everybody in these United States voted for to get him in office? Whether you voted against him or voted for him. Did he not have voters in Louisiana as well? Just because he had that is that yes is no. to yes answer no. your question. Yes or no? Yes, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean he has authority like that. If he did have authority like that, a lot of these states would not have different laws to do the same shit. 
We're not talking about authority. We're talking about him showing up. It's not his job to show up. Oh, it's not. So no. the voters that voted for him in Louisiana, he has no loyalty to them or no. It's not about uh, loyalty. He 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 owes them nothing. It's not. It's not that he owes them nothing. He does not have to show up. He doesn't have to show up. Just like he didn't have to show up then, he didn't have to. Sh- All right. We'll that's, that's off topic. That's that's off topic. <laughs> we'll move on. At the we'll end of the day, on. at the we'll end of the day, on. that that I I personally feel like him saying George Bush doesn't care about black people is a bunch of bullshit. That's that's how I feel about that. Yeah, I'm and totally I, the that's opposite. That. I, I think he hit the hit the nail right on the head when he said that shit. I, I don't think he hit the nail on the head because <laughs> there is nothing about that statement. <laughs> there's nothing about that statement that is valid. Okay. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the president's authority is to send aid to the state. That's it. When he sends that to the state, the state is in charge of that. So at what point in that does Kanye's statement hit the nail on the head? Because, hey, I'm going to send this down to you because this is what your state is requesting. What your state does with that, your state is in charge of that. I can't, I can't I regulate that. what you do in your state. I get that. So but that doesn't make him is, hit the nail on the head when he said that. How long did it take him to show up? See, you, you keep getting hung up on... The president physically you're not showing up the in question. Louisiana. You're still not answering the question. That's why I'm still on it. Because it does not matter. <laughs> if you look, at, okay, look at it like this. Look at it like this. Look at all the natural disasters that have happened in this country over the last, let's just say, 10, 15 years. And see how long it took a president to show up to any of them, to if any at all. So it doesn't matter. Hell, there's wildfires in California. They was there during Obama, Bush, Trump. How many did they show up to? In our nation's history, right? That was the first time any situation like that happened. No. Where so no, no, no. many people, let me finish, let me finish. Where so many people were impacted within one state by a fucking flood like that. Like they had bodies in the street. Bruh. The smell was, Bruh. it was, it was, it was horrible. I mean, when you're stacking bodies, that's a problem. And I'm not trying to take anything away from any other natural disaster that happened within, you know, our nation. But what I'm saying is, whether he sent aid or didn't send aid, how long did it take him to actually show up to that situation? Again, it does not matter. It does matter. If that because matters, because you are then... still the president of Louisiana, just like you're the president of California. This shit that so goes it, on in California, kinda like, that presidents so, ain't show up. So too. it happened on my back porch. I don't. I don't have to worry about what's what's on my front porch. Do you get what I'm saying, Bruh, If you look again, if you look at every natural disaster that has occurred in this country over the last 10, 15 years. They are all unique. Every last one of them are unique. You also have to take into consideration. When you look at Katrina, when you look how messed up it was, you also have to think about the safety of the president. You cannot dismiss that. But that's, that's, that's off topic. That's, that's way off topic. 
nor here nor there. At the end of the day, that <laughs> statement was irrelevant to me. It was bullshit. Uh, I disagree with it. Because it, it was white people down there. There was uh, Native American. There was Hispanics. So he don't care about black, black people. That, that, was, that was garbage. I, I don't know. Nah, I'm not vibing with it. Yeah. So stating slavery seemed like a choice. That one? Yeah. Um, when I first heard it, I had a problem with it. Um, I had a problem with it because I, listen up here, folks, I was thinking closed-minded on that one. Um, I said to myself, well, it wasn't a choice because they was oppressed, they was beat, they was this, they was that. But then I heard other interviews of people analyzing that statement. And when I allowed myself to, to listen to other points of view, I agree. Because I know me 